After uh, running Raptor, uh, you have two windows. Uh, the top left corner uh, is the main window for designing your flowchart, and the uh, right lower corner uh, you can see the console. Any output that you have uh, from running your flowchart, you can see on the console window. Now uh, let's uh, have a simple example on flowchart. For instance, you want to have a flowchart uh, or program uh, such that you get the age of the user. And uh, if the age is uh, less than 10, you can say uh, you are a kid. Uh, otherwise, if the age is less than 18, you can say you are a teen. And uh, else, you can say you are an adult. OK, let's start. So the very first thing that we need is to have a container or a variable uh, for keeping the value of the age. Therefore, we click on the top symbol rectangle and then click on the line between a start and end. Uh, at the beginning, when you want to uh, change the flowchart, it asks you to save uh, the file. You say OK. And then you indicate a name for that. For example, okay, uh, age output, something like that. Or uh, say age range. And then save. Now you have uh, this uh, flowchart with the name age ranges dot wrap. You can see it at the top uh, uh, center of the window. Now you can uh, edit the rectangle, which is the assignment. You can just right click on that and then click edit. You need two things. First, the name of the variable or the container. For example, we say age. And then uh, on the next window, you can indicate the initial value. For instance, we say initial value is zero. And then you say done. Now you have this variable. Then the next job is to get the input from the user. Therefore, you select the input symbol and then click on the line between the rectangle and end symbol. You have the input. Again, you can right click on that, edit. At the top, you have to indicate a prompt to the user. So for instance, remember, the prompt should be inside a pair of double quotes. So, you have, for example, enter your age. And then you indicate the name of the variable on the other text box, text box age. And then, OK, you remember the name that you indicated uh, in the previous step. You have to use the same name. And then done. Now that you have the input from the user, you indicate the condition. For instance, you want to say if the age is less than 10, you want to print out you are a kid. Therefore, we need to have a selection. You click on the selection symbol and then click on the line between input and end. So now you have the selection. You right click on the diamond symbol and edit to indicate the condition. You say condition is age less than or equal to 10. Remember, there is no space between less than and equal sign. Now you have the condition. You indicate the actions for the yes branch and no branch. For the yes branch, you just click on the line. And then you have the condition. In here, we don't need the condition. Therefore, I just right click on that and then say delete. So in here, we just want to have an output. So I click on the output symbol and click on the line yes branch. Now I have to say you are a kid. Therefore, I right click on that, edit. Remember, any prompt should be inside a pair of double quote. So I say a pair of double quote and then you are and then for instance, I want to print out the age. I say the variable age. 
and then plus again a payoff double quote and then dot you are a kid so in here i have two parts that are fixed the first the left side and the right side and then in between i want to print out the value of the age therefore i should use the uh, variable name age and then done so this is the output in case age is less than or equal to 10. otherwise i want to check if it is less than 20 i just want to say you are a teen otherwise i want to say you are an adult again i need another condition for the no branch and then i indicate the condition for the yes part i say age less than or equal to 20 and then i have the output i click on the output and yes branch and then edit i say you are and then plus age plus dot you are a team and for the no branch let me resize the window and then on the no branch again i need another output and then i say again double quote you are plus h plus dot you are an adult and that's it done then when we are sure that the program is done at the end it goes to the end symbol and therefore we are now ready so we can save it and then on the toolbar and then on the toolbar you can just click on the run button but before that let me um, show the uh, console okay let's run the program and then we can switch to the console so i click on the run button and then if you see the green uh, line it shows the current uh, part that executed from the flowchart now it goes to the input and it said enter your age for example i say 12 and okay so the expected output is you are a teen and as you see on the council it said you are 12 dot you are a teen let's again run the program for another input again run the program this time i say for example 25 and then the expected output is that you are 25 you are an adult okay so you can now uh, create your own flowchart on raptor and run it to see how it works thank you